Good morning, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, I did one last night. If you have a chance to check it out, uh, it's up on the website. Uh, it's on, definitely on YouTube, and it's definitely on the website. Um, and the link's on my Twitter feed. So what we talked about was kind of the lead-in to the Fed. I'm not going to get into as much detail about the FOMC coming up on Wednesday as I am right now, because uh, I don't want to, you know, keep regurgitating the same video. What we talked about though as far as a setup for today was 1777. You had the reaction low yesterday. It was a grind higher, not a not a bear market rally, but just a grind higher that held at 77. 77 then was the launching pad for what we saw off the open. We made a high, but then the bulls didn't get it done. They made a lower high. They needed a higher high. If the bulls make a higher high here, then that would have allowed us to march up to the middle band on the continuation chart, which is right around 1793. Um, instead, what we saw was a move back down to 77, and now we've seen 77 really become kind of a floor. I will tell you this now. If 77 becomes a floor again, then you don't want to be short. Because if we're not going down, then we're going up. It's, you know, simple stuff. If we're not going down, we're going up. And we're seeing, you know, we're seeing a move up into the 80s now. Um, but, you know, so, you know, if you're long today, you have to look at a break of 77 as a tip off that you may be incorrect in your trading. If 77 breaks and gets retested as resistance, then, you know, the, the bears have a chance to take it down a little bit lower. And, and the nice part for the bears is once it gets below 77, uh, you're going to have a lot of people that are getting very, very nervous about this big, long candle down at 54. And there's really not much in between uh, except for a middle of the night rally to hold it back. So 77 is a key area. I'm not saying that we'll go straight down to 54. That's just not reasonable. But I would imagine that it would get pretty weak below 77 because there's not a lot to latch onto. Um, so if 77 stays the way it is, then what I'm expecting is a walk up into the Fed announcement tomorrow, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, with some fits and starts along the way, but generally a grind higher up into that news. What I will tell you is this. What we talked about last night a little bit was don't game this. Do not game it. Um, you can get your account into real trouble doing that stuff because you don't know if they're going to taper, if they're not going to taper, if it's going to be some combination of time and price or just a change in language. You don't know what they're going to do. Okay, that's number one. Number two, you don't know what the reaction is going to be to what they do. And you as an individual trader, me as an individual trader, we don't dictate reaction. Don't think for a minute that we do, because we don't. The people that move the big money dictate the reaction. It's our job to jump on the bandwagon and ride it to victory. Okay, the only way you can do that is to get out of the way, let the news get out, let's find out what the reaction is going to be, find a range that's related to that reaction, and then trade off of it. That's that's what I've always done, and it served me very well. Um, putting a bunch of contracts on before an announcement like that, you're either going to be very, very right or very, very wrong. And I would argue whether, whether or not you are right or wrong, it is a bad trade. It is an irresponsible trade. It's a Russian roulette trade, so don't do it. Don't wreck your Christmas, okay? And don't try to make your year off of, you know, what the Fed's going to do Wednesday at 2 o'clock. That's just, you know, that's just not, that's the opposite of smart, you guys. Okay, uh, so for today, watch 77. Watch it like a hawk. I think it's going to be the key to the day and, in, in, and into um, the, the move up into tomorrow's number. Okay, everybody have an amazing day. I'll be out tonight with a webcast. I'll be back tomorrow morning uh, uh, with another webcast. Uh, follow me on uh, Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out our website, princetontrader.com. 
Uh, if you want these updates and everything sooner, there's a place to sign up. On the bottom middle of the website, there's a place to enter your um, email, and you get these posts sooner. I am not a spammer. <laughs> I don't have the energy. Uh, the most you'll ever get to me from me is an announcement for a webinar um, every, you know, a couple times a year. But uh, so a lot of people have been doing that, and that's good because they find that they get the stuff a lot easier than trying to filter through their their Twitter stream. Come check out the come check out the chat room. Come take a couple week trial. Come trade this stuff. Uh, come trade this Fed stuff with us if you don't want to trade it by yourself. If you're if you're nervous about it, uh, we'd love to meet you and love to have you and see if we can help you with your trading. Everybody have an amazing day. Trade them well. Talk to you tonight.